Hi, my name is Sandy and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do educational talks, you and your child. Today's episode, what's your name? It's very important for your child to know their full name, not just their nicknames, but a full name. In the school, especially when these little kids come into school, they're four years old, five years old, pre-kinder, kinder, sometimes even first grade, and they accidentally get separated from their class. Of course, there's plenty of teachers and administrators walking around and making sure each child is safe and goes where they're supposed to be. But once in a while, you have that one little child, when you ask them their name, they don't know it, and you're trying to figure out which child, which teacher this child belongs to. And that's kind of hard. We usually have to wait until the teacher starts calling frantically in the front office saying they're missing a child and then we know who they belong to. It's a whole lot easier when we ask the child, what is your name? They give us their name and we can actually look it up on the computer and find which teacher they belong to. Now remember, I'm talking about the first couple of days of school when school starts. Very chaotic. Children tend to get lost very quickly. They're overwhelmed. They're following their friends in front of them and they peek around the corner and they're lost. This is why they need their first name. It's also important if they're ever separated from you, they'd be able to tell the police officers their names. Now, this is where the next part comes in. They should know your and your spouse's full names, not just mom and dad, not mommy and daddy, full name. Again, this is just for safety reasons. If your child's ever separated from you and they're talking to the police officers, they'd be able to tell you, my mom's name is, first name, last name, if a middle name, if it's appropriate, or my daddy's name is so-and-so. Very, very important. As we're also talking about their names and your names, they should also know where they live, the street and the numbers. Remember, you wanna protect your child. And I know a lot of people say, well, you know, that's not a problem. We just can write it on their, on their backpacks. But I want you to take very good look at this. If you put this names, your address on a child's backpack and the child puts down that backpack to go play, who can come up to that backpack and look at it? It's a danger right there. You wanna keep your kids safe. So it's a lot better for the child to memorize their full names, their parents' full names, and their address. And if possible, at least one phone number that you know that will be answered all the time. This way, they can always tell the police officers full name, mommy's full name or daddy's full name, their address and a phone number. That way they can find you extremely quickly. And it's really not that hard. Tell them every single day. What's your name, baby? And have them say their first, first name, their middle name, and their last name. What's mommy's name? First name, middle name, last name. And daddy's name? First, middle, and last. And where do we live? The street address. And what's that one phone number that we all know? It's good for them. If you have any questions, please comment down below. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. See you. Bye.